Okay, so basically we're going to start off by creating a box. And zeroing it in the world so that it's easier to find. And then you just want to use the same dimensions that I am going to use. You pretty much just want to use all the same dimensions that I'm going to use through the tutorial, so so I don't have to keep saying it. Okay, so you want to convert the box to another little poly. And select the face. I'm just changing the color here. Insert. And then extrude it. Okay, and then we just want to create a circle and do these same parameters. I'm sorry, a cylinder, not a circle. Select the polygon and then select the front face which you want to insert. And then extrude. Insert. Insert by polygon. And then insert again. 0.585 sorry okay you want to select this little triangle select the same lines that I selected in ring or, or loop yeah loop sorry as you can see mine hasn't done it properly so I'm going to have to go around and select these sides. Okay, now you want to hold shift and press that. And you should select them all like this. And then you want to use bevel. Okay or apply, sorry. Okay. Okay, now you want to select this face, insert it. Bevel. And then bevel again. I think bevel <laughs> again. <laughs> Yeah.
if you wish instead of pressing OK and then on the little square you can just keep pressing apply That's it. So now we want to select this back, just delete it. And then just select the little triangle ring, and then we're going to use connect. And you just want to use the slider to slide it back. Okay, now select the same lines that I am. And ring. Okay, mine's selected more than it should have. So I just I just want the ones in the middle selected. So I gave up on doing it that way, and now I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. So now you've got these all selected. extrude by 0.5 okay so now I'm going to add a mesh or turbo smooth so that we can see what it looks like so in a minute I'm going to do some chamfers so that some of the lines are more harsh okay so you want to go in and it's going to be a tricky bit So you want to select this one, this one, and not ring, <laughs> you want to loop it, and then just come down to chamfer. And okay. Now you just want to select this one, this one, and the one just in there. loop and chamfer
Okay, you want to select these ones at the back. Just hold shift and then drag them out like backwards a bit to give you more of a back. And then you want to like select all of these ones. Make sure nothing else is selected. And we're going to use connect. Let's just leave that. Okay, let's put the smooth back on. It looks how I want to look at it, so I'm just going to place it here. And then what you want to do is you want to select this back panel and detach it. So that that's separate. I just hide it. I just hid everything else, so it's easier to work with. And then what we want to do is make it tra make your speaker transparent by using O and X, selecting the back, and then cutting like this. And then what we want to do is just delete it, and then. Yeah, well, there'll be a nice hole and you just want to move it back your speaker back inside the panel so that it's nice and flush and then basically you want to just copy it up and do the same thing hold shift on your speaker make a copy and then just cut out the back again okay so now we're going to make like the hole at the bottom so you want to start by making a tube and you want to use these parameters Okay, so that's that. Okay, convert to another little poly. Select a little triangle, and you just want to, I think it's ring, and then use connect for the segments on two. Okay, and then what you want to do is just pull them out a little bit to make it like a curved edge. And then you want to select all of these faces. And then basically what we're going to do is just delete them. You don't want to delete these ones on the inside though, you want them ones. Okay, so now delete. And then you just want to select this loop. And then just you just want to hold shift and drag it back a bit. And that's about it. And then select these two loop chamfer. Obviously, not that much. Just want to do um, no point no two. Okay, and then that's it. Let's put a mesh. Or turbo smooth on it. And just put it into place, and then you just want to make a hole for it, like you did for these speakers. Just cut around it. And then it should finish up looking a bit like this one. Okay then, thank you for watching my tutorial, bye.